point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. After one, 14 6, our score on EA Sports. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Flushed out right. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott rolling to his right. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the deep. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So after the sack, here, second and 14. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Does the big boy have the juice? And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. Extra point try now for Suckup. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21 to 6. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm, and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, so you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Flush to his right. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. 
Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Brady gives this to White, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Slot man moves right. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, 5, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores, and partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described, a defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help, they just provided it. They're back in this one. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the draw, it's White. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down. And he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. In motion comes the tight end left. Thank you. 
Here's Brady to throw. And break, the tight end's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They keep it on the ground, white again. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. But that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Brady. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Julio Jones, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bucs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Suck up for the extra point. And that will make this a 16-point lead. <laughs> Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Prescott looks to throw on first. It's Brown with a great grab. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. He's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Andrew.